Join in with Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church every second weekend of each month. Sunday service will be at Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4 o'clock p.m. We looking forward to seeing you and be blessed. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But now, Western countries are pressurizing Africa because we are poor. They are taking an advantage because we are poor. Uh, in uh, in the book of uh, the tornado, uh, in the book of uh, we're in a time of, uh, of tornadoes, catastrophic events, and more to come. As we speak right now, Amen. Men's hearts fell in for fear for what's coming upon the earth. Sanctified. 
Thank you, Jesus. One more day with our minds stayed on thee. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Every bowed head in this assembly said, with victory in their heart, peace in their mind, and Jesus on their lips. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 I do give honor to our Lord Jesus Christ, the one God eternal. Amen. The Lord who made the worlds according to the scripture. Yes, Lord. John 1 and 10, he was in the world, and the world was made by him. That's right. Genesis 1 and 1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Yes. So again, I testify for the record that the same Jehovah God of the Old Testament is the same Jesus Christ of the New Testament. Yes. We can only have one greater, Malachi 2 and 10. Have we not all one Father? Have not one God created us all? I thank God again that I'm Jesus only. Yes. And may you see the church. Amen. Now, we want to just kind of bring up uh, some current events and uh, uh, and understand that uh, the Bible speaks in one voice Amen. Yes. to one people, not divided. Amen. And we that have heard the voice of the Lord are obligated uh, to fulfill the mandate God has given us, and that's to uh, bear witness of this truth. No matter where we go, we got to always stand up and defend the faith once delivered. Amen. Now, I, I want to take a thought, but before I do, I want to call up Elder Peace Bond, and he's going to bring us up to some current events that are taking place because somebody heard the gospel and refused to bow. And you know, in, uh, also in... Uh, uh, is that Uganda? They have purpose in their heart right. not to compromise the word. Hallelujah. They're not going to allow sodomites and lesbians Amen. to take over their country. Yes. America is in such a chaotic condition because they have allowed the spirit of unbelief to creep in. Yes. Amen. And when you allow the spirit of unbelief to creep in, and when there's no strength in the church, then the enemy has this perfect way. Yes. Amen. And then you got all this degradation and all this immorality, all this spirit of unbelief everywhere you see in America, in American cities. They're trying to figure out what to do in Chicago. They even got a TV special of what to do with Chicago. <coughs> Praise God, you need to save them. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Keep preaching the gospel. Yeah. Hey Amen. You can't keep putting them in jail because pretty soon you ain't going to have no, praise God, no place to put them. Hey Amen. Yeah. Jails are filled up right now. Yeah. Right. But if you preach the gospel yeah. and let us have its perfect way, God will do the rest. Now, uh, uh, Elder Peace Bond will come up with a report from uh, Malawi. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord saints. Praise the Lord. Once again, I want to give honor to Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, and double honor to Prophet, Prophet Walker, and the help next select lady, uh, Mother Walker. Uh, the elders, brothers, and sisters in the Lord. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I just want to thank God that uh, whatever is happening in Africa, some of the, some parts of the Africa people are responding to the gospel. Amen. Right. There's this uh, man who is called uh, uh, Magasungula. Undule Magasungula he was uh, the director of uh, this called Human Rights, which they were fighting against the church. Uh, you know, last year, or uh, and this year, the church in Malawi uh, called the president to tell him, uh, to tell her that, Madam President, this country is, uh, is, is a God-fearing country. Amen? Amen? So they read the chapter, which is I want to read here, Genesis chapter 1. Chapter, Genesis chapter 1, from verse 26. And God said, let us make a man in our image after our likeness, and that 
then have a dominion over the fish, over the sea, and over the fowl of the, of the air, and, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created a man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and a female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish, over the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Praise the Lord. So President was told that uh, God blessed a, a man and a female. He did not uh, bless the animals. Amen? So people, they took uh, things on their own. God did not bless homosexuals. God did not bless uh, lesbians. God did not bless gay, but he blessed a, a man and a, a female. And God said, replenish. I mean, a, a, a lesbian cannot replenish, Amen. a gay cannot replenish, Amen. he cannot be a God. So, this man, who so called Makasungula, the one was the director of uh, 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 human rights, he fought against the church very much, and he fought against the Christianity, and he was uh, uh, backing United Nations about the homosexuals and gays in Malawi was begging Obama about homosexual and gays in Malawi. But uh, now, he became a Christian, now he's a born again. Yeah. He has even resigned to be the director of uh, human rights. Yeah. Now he said, I don't want to be, I mean, to go to hell. Yeah. Because I don't want God to, to, uh, to punish me. Yeah. And according to what he, he said on the paper, he said he was even failing to sleep. He had to take a pill yeah. for him to sleep. But when he became a Christian, now he was prayed for. Now he's sleeping like a dead person. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, uh, you know, in Malawi, church stood and went straight to the present and faced him. But now in America, the problem is uh, only prophet is fighting alone. The church is coward. The church is fearing. But in Malawi, we stood and say, no, let's go to the president, yes. no matter what. Yes. In Uganda, the same. It was the church who, pre who pressurized the president to accept the bill to sign. They were not members of the parliament. They were not the church. They were not only people, but the church stood and told the members of the parliament to go to the president and uh, tell him to sign the bill. Amen. Same in Zimbabwe. Amen. Same in Zambia. But now, Western countries are pressurizing Africa because we are poor. They're taking an advantage because we are poor. Uh, in, uh, in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, uh, in the book of uh, Leviticus 18, God is condemning homosexuals, is condemning the sodomites. In the book of First uh, Kings, chapter 14, it just says, it says the same, I'll spill you out of the Sodom. Yes. Amen? Amen? So what's the problem with America? You don't know that God has blessed this country, but now because you don't want to listen to God and you don't want to be in the, in the hands of God, God is cursing the country now. Amen. God is cursing the country now. You know, uh, for me, it was the first time to hear that God blessed America in Africa. It was just like a, everywhere where you go in my those days, you just find God, in God we trust. God bless America. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But nowadays, there's a lot of problem in America, yes, yes. especially to those people who don't know how to save God, those who don't want to be in holiness. Yes. You know, Maxungula says, no, I don't want to be in... You know, uh, when the government arrested two people in Malawi, homosexuals, just imagine uh, an executive, a general secretary of the United Nations, spending a lot of southern to go to Malawi and pressuring the country to... Uh, to release those people. Just imagine. Yeah. A lot of money because he's taking advantage because we are poor and he's pressurizing the government of Malawi. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just imagine. And how can you accept somebody 
tell you not to marry, he is enjoying with the wife. He has got the children. How can I accept somebody say don't have the children, but he is enjoying with the children? Is he not sick? Yes. This is sickness. Yes. This is abnormal. It's not, a, it's not normal. Amen. Somebody is enjoying with the family and is telling you not to help the family. They say another church you call the Universal Church of God. They tell that uh, if you want to be the pastor of that church, you mustn't marry. You must, if you marry, you mustn't have the children. That's devilish. Yes. So this is what I want to say about Magasungula. Undure Magasungula has resigned to be a human rights. You don't want to fight against God. And he said, no more against God. I want to be in the hands of God from now. Amen. God bless me. We're going to see, uh, Elder Kevin, you got something you want to share with the church. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God for them words from Elder Peace Pound. Amen. Amen. All the way from Malawi, Africa. Amen. And we all having a great time in the house of prayer. Amen. This is the church of the living God. Pillar on the ground of the truth. Amen. Amen. A place where people ought to come to get advice. Amen. Because it is the pillar on the ground of the truth. And with that, all glory on the praise to Jesus Christ. He is the most high. Amen. There is none higher. Amen. Amen. Alpha and Omega. Double honor to our leader and prophet H. Walker. And to Mother Walker. And to all the saints of God. Amen. I do greet you in that precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It's good to see everybody. I'm so glad that we believe in families. Amen. Amen. The preacher said that God wants us to be fruitful and multiply and to replenish the earth. Amen. Have families, and that takes male and female. Nothing in between. Amen. And as the preacher brought out, America is cursed. Amen. Right now as we speak, I believe tornadoes are devastating the Midwest. Amen. Breaking out all in Arkansas. Amen. Overturning cars. Amen. But all these things are in the word of God. He said that he's going to show signs on the earth. Amen. There'll be signs in the heaven, signs on the earth. Amen. And you know, if you disobey God, you will be cursed. Amen. And it's up to you whether you want to choose the blessing or the cursing. Amen. And America has turned their back on God and obviously has chose the cursing. Amen. Why is that? Because of false teachers. Amen. Amen. Who won't preach the truth. Amen. Just to give you an example, I believe we were recently in the home of Billy Graham. And he has a son who took over his ministries, Franklin Graham. Amen. Amen. But you know, those Baptists teach one saved, always saved. Amen. Amen. No responsibility in your holiness walk. You can do what you want to do. Amen. But that's not true. Amen. That's a heresy. Once saved, always saved is a heresy. Amen. That's a different opinion from what the apostles taught. They taught a responsibility, a holiness lifestyle that's going to even reflect on the outside with no makeup and no jewelry. Amen. With a veil covering on a woman's head and that she covers herself. Amen. Franklin Graham, Graham I believe he said that you can be gay and go to heaven in his words. You can be gay and go to heaven, but he, of course, he's not speaking of a uh, gay, as you know, it, it was a positive word. I believe the Bible even uses the word gay when it says if a man comes into your congregation wearing the gay clothing. In other words, the fine clothing. At one time in Old English, gay was a positive word, but he's not saying that. He's not using it in that context. He's saying that sodomites can go to heaven. Amen. And we know that's blasphemy. Amen. What are you going to do with 1 Corinthians 6 and 9? When it says the effeminate abusers of themselves with mankind, amen, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Amen. And let me pick up in 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Amen. We're not deceived by Franklin Graham. Amen. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, 
nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Amen. There you go. If sodomy is not abuse, I don't know what is. If uh, drug abuse is not abuse, I don't know what is. If uh, putting a needle in your arm and injecting some heroin is not abuse, I don't know what is. And it says effeminate. A man has got to be a man. Hallelujah. To uh, 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 wash his own wife with the word if he has to. Amen. To, uh, uh, I think the Bible says, how do you know, O wife, whether thou will save thy husband? And how do you know, O husband, whether thou will save thy wife? Amen. Amen. It's in the word of God. It says, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. We're in a time of, of, of tornadoes, catastrophic events, and more to come as we speak right now. Amen. Men's hearts fell in there for fear for what's coming upon the earth because of mankind's disobedience and because of crowd followers. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for the backbone of Prophet H. Walker. Amen. Teach us how to war. Amen. I was looking at another pestilence that's on the scene right now. It's called MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. And it started in Saudi Arabia, and it's mainly affecting Muslim nations. Amen. It started in Saudi Arabia. Amen. But the question is to Islam, can Allah save you from mirrors? Allah can't save you. Only the name of Jesus Christ. I believe the Bible says by his stripes we are healed. Amen. Amen. Not Allah, but the proper noun, which is Jesus Christ. For everything that he did for us, church. Amen. Prophesy all the way back in the book of Isaiah. Amen. Everything he did for those whom he knew. Amen. We're going to come on into the faith. Amen. It says, Isaiah 53 in that 4. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Amen. Amen. Prophesy all the way back in the book of Isaiah. Amen. I thank God for the new bapti baptism that we had in Rhea. Rhea, my wife, amen, getting baptized. Amen. amen. I thank God for that. Amen. amen. She's come a long way. Amen. Keep in mind, she was in one of the, her country was in one of the worst earthquakes yeah. in the last 100 years. Yeah. Amen. I was observing how Elder Marshall put together that Matthew 24, part 2, and how we had uh, some visuals of that earthquake that took place in Japan. And he had the visuals of the tsunami. Amen. And my wife was telling me how she was on the eighth floor in Tokyo in a building, and the building was just swaying and swaying and swaying. Amen. And through all that, amen, I had to endure here, amen, right. not knowing about my family, amen. amen. And at times there were miserable comforters all around, all right. people laughing and mocking and making jokes and thought I didn't see, hallelujah. But I thank God through Christ Jesus, I got the victory. Be blessed. Yeah, thank God, amen. Thank God for the uh, Kevin. Thank God for the wonderful spirit in the house. Warm spirit, receptive spirit. To love the truth, love hearing the truth, and love living by the truth. Uh, Y'all be seated. I just want to just reflect on, I believe, 1 Corinthians 5 and 8. The word of God again comes to give us an instruction on how to serve him. But if we forget how to serve him, brothers and sisters, a fiery indignation is appointed to those who will not follow the instructions of God. Uh, read me uh, verse 8. First Corinthians 5 and 8. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with old leaven. And I'm 1 Corinthians 5 and 8. Yes. Uh-huh. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Read. I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators, yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous, or extortioners, or with 
a dollar, a dollar you have to you have to as a saved church you got to watch who you keep company right. with amen amen Hallelujah. i found out the other day that uh some of the people who got put out they find people who were put out way back in detroit come on, come on. and get together with them and ride around with them and try to let the try to let the saints see them. Mm -hmm. What is that for? That's to show that now before they didn't have nothing to do with each other. Amen. But it's to show the unity they have in hating true light. Amen. It's something to think about, church. Uh -huh. But Jesus said, No, ye not that they hated me yes. before they ever hated you. Yes. Go with and twenty fourth chapter of Matthew. Uh, I think I want to jump right in around verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Back, up to, verse, back up to verse 11. 11. And many false prophets shall rise and dece shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Uh -huh. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Read. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. You gotta learn how to stand in the church of God. Amen. Because all this confusion that you see, brothers and sisters, and people gravitating to each other to form a bond of hatred for the true church. Oh, brothers and sisters, listen, something wrong somewhere. And it's not with the church of God. It's with those who hate the church of God. We defend the faith. Amen. And we do it unashamedly. Yes. We are proud to be who we are. Amen. Now, if they can be proud to be who they are, can't we be proud to be who we are? Yes. Oh, glory. We let our light shine. We ain't got to go over Greenville, somebody, and get somebody to find out. Amen. Are you in agreement with me in, 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 in hating? Praise God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Jesus said they hated me before they hated me. So I thank God that I'm hated above all nations for his name's sake because it fulfills the scripture. And brothers, all we got to do is keep pressing on. Why are they worried about us? They, they need to be worried about themselves and the days ahead. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. We pressing on toward the mark. Yeah. And having a good time doing it. Yeah. I said we're having a good time doing it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wonderful time yeah. in Charlotte yesterday. Yeah. Amen. I just thank God for all that he's doing. I uh, met a man today. I think I was in the post office. He said, I saw you. You were, wasn't you the one that uh, they kind of attacked because you was coming against all them gays? He said, gays. Uh, yeah, I said, yeah, that's, that's me. Amen. See, I just want to shake your hand. Shake <laughs> my hand, walk on out the door. <laughs> God. Somebody knows there's somebody that's defending the faith. Everybody's not caught up in all this foolishness. It, it, it's total nonsense. Pornography is one of the fastest growing industries, yep. a billion dollar industry, because people want to watch somebody else. How is that helping you? I never could figure that one out. That ain't helping you at all. Praise the Lord. Lord. I ain't got no money in my pocket. You sit down eating steak and, and fried chicken and ice cream and that ain't helping my stomach. <laughs> so, God gave us another mind and another spirit. And that's why we are not like them. We are a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, set apart for God's own pleasure. Brothers and sisters, we are something special, and we need to know it, understand it, and be thankful to God that he chose us in this last day 
to reflect his glory. Amen. And I'm happy about it. Yes, Lord. I'm happy because we've been set apart. Yes, Lord. And now you see the importance of being separated. Amen, prophet. It's not about hate. But it's about trying to be contaminated. You know, there used to be when they had measles and chicken pox, they put a sign over over your house saying uh, uh, quarantine. Yes, Lord. Chicken pox, me, they stay there for about a week, amen, until it's over with. Why? They don't want other people to get infected by the measles or the chicken pox or the virus you have. So they put a warning. So God gives a warning to his church. I don't want you contaminated by immorality, by pornography, by amen. sodomy, by lesbian behavior. I don't want you contaminated by, by cigarette smoking and liquor drinking and the advertising. Uh, Bud Light is better than Miller Light and all that kind of mess. Praise Lord. Marlboro's is better than uh, Winston's. <laughs> but tell me what tobacco field they all came out of. You ain't never heard of no Winston tobacco field. No Marlboro tobacco field. <laughs> oh, go. And a drunkard's a drunkard. I don't care how he gets drunk. He's still a drunkard. And a drunkard shall not inherit the yeah. kingdom of God. Oh. Don't try to make me drunk. I'm sober in Christ Jesus. Yeah. And on my way to heaven. Right. And I'm so glad. Let us sing. Thank God for the word that's went forward tonight. Amen. Elder Kevin and uh, Elder Peace Bond, we thank God. Amen. Amen. And uh, Elder. Uh, wonderful, strong testimony. Amen. You know, God is a wonder yes. when you trust in Him. Yes. And uh, in case people are watching by way of YouTube, He's not Elder Martin, He's Elder Marshall. Amen. Don't get him mixed up. I hope that shot over you. Join in with Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church every second weekend of each month. Sunday service will be at Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4 o'clock p.m. We're looking forward to seeing you and be blessed. Blog Talk Radio.